Welcome back to our channel. So today we're going to be reading another golden book and this one is titled Spongebob Squarepants Mr. Fancy Pants. Let's check it out. Mr. Fancy Pants is adopted by Geoff Smith and illustrated by Caleb Muir. Spongebob opened his front door and greeted another beautiful bikini bottom morning. It is a perfect day, he said, a perfect day for chores. Spongebob loved to dust, wash, and vacuum. It's laundry day, Gary, Spongebob said. He collected all his square pants, and even Gary's pants, too and filled the wash mach washing machine. While the clothes were drying, Patrick called. Hi, SpongeBob, he said. Listen to how long I can whistle. SpongeBob learned that pa Patrick could whistle for a long, long time. Gary got his pants out of the dryer in time, but SpongeBob was SpongeBob waited too long. All his pants had shrunk. Gary is... Gary, it looks like I need to get new pants, SpongeBob said. Gary said meow. Unfortunately, the, pan the pants stores at at the mall was all out of SpongeBob style, and there wasn't going to be another shipment of square pants for months. I guess I, I can find a, a new style of pants, SpongeBob said. Maybe. Nope. No way. Whoa. Yikes. Then SpongeBob found a pair of pants he liked. In fact, he thought they were perfect. They hugged me like my mother. On the way back home, SpongeBob ran into Patrick. Notice anything different? SpongeBob asked. Who are you? I'm SpongeBob. Patrick thought for a moment. SpongeBob has square pants. Now leave me alone, you mysterious stranger. Patrick's so full of tartar sauce. SpongeBob said to himself, I'm still SpongeBob. It's just a different pair of pants. But then Sandy didn't seem to recognize him either. either. You sure like Mr. Fancy Pants? She said with a laugh. SpongeBob wasn't too worried because he knew that Patrick and Sandy could be pretty silly sometimes. But when Squidward didn't recognize him, he got scared. Actually, Squidward did, did recognize SpongeBob. He just was trying to ignore him. These pants are more powerful than I expected. SpongeBob cried. I guess I'm not SpongeBob SquarePants anymore. I have to start all over. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. My first thing, the first thing SpongeBob Fancy Pants needed was a job. So he went to the place he knew best. The Krusty Krab. The moment SpongeBob Fancy Pants walked in, Mr. Krabs told him to get to work. I've got the job, SpongeBob shouted. SpongeBob Fancy Pants has never worked here before, he said. So you have to tell me what to do. Teach me everything you know. Hmm. Squidward whispered to himself, Maybe I can get him fired, then he'll leave me alone. So SpongeBob 
Fancy Pants learned to do everything around the Krusty Krab just the way Squidward did it. SpongeBob ignored the customers and he made fun of the food. The Krusty, the Krusty Krab got messier and messier and messier. And Mr. Krabs got madder, madder, and madder. I used, I used to, I used to Squidward doing a terrible job, Mr. Krabs yelled. But I expected more from you, Mr. Squarepants. But I can't be SpongeBob SquarePants with round pants on. Squib SpongeBob cried. Well, take them off, Mr. Krabs said. Whatever you say, Mr. Krabs. I guess I'm SpongeBob underpants from now on. Thank you for staying tuned with our book reads and stay tuned for the next book read coming very soon. Hope everybody is safe out there and following all the recommendations to stay safe. Take care. Goodbye.